You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Welcome back, everybody. Last time we talked about what forgiveness means when your pastor or your brother or your sister in Christ says, you are forgiven, I forgive you instead of Christ, it means that the debt is canceled. Because of your sin, you owe to the Father. You owe, and, and what, well, what do you owe? Well, like Jeremiah 25 says, we must drink the cup of wrath. We have to pay for our transgressions. But because of Christ, we don't. But what did Christ do? How, how did he? I mean, he didn't just sit up in heaven and lean over to the Father and say, hey, hey, Dad, I got this. That's, that's not what happened. He, he didn't just snap his fingers and all of a sudden the debt magically went away. How did Jesus pay the debt? What does it say in Scripture? What's well, First Peter? Not with gold or silver, but with his holy and precious blood. He didn't use it with human things. He used it. He used eternal. He used the blood, human blood that is united with the divine and paid the price for us. Luther uses this in the small catechism when he talks about the work of Jesus as our redeemer, our rescuer. He came and spilled his blood on the cross for you. He assumed every single sin, suffered the full wrath of the Father, took that cup of wrath that you and I must drink because of our sin, and he downed it, and he flipped it over and said, nothing left, and said, it is finished. On the cross, he gave up his life to pay the price for us. This is the full atonement. On the cross, Jesus purchased and won salvation for you. So that now when your pastor, when your brother and sister in Christ declares those words of absolution to you, they're declaring it covered in the blood of Jesus. It's, imagine this when you're being forgiven of your sins. It's like someone's taking a big thing. Well, that sounds graphic, right? A big thing of blood. That's kind of gothic, I guess. But that's what's happening. You're literally being covered in the blood of Jesus. You're being stained with it. And that's what's happening here. The same blood that flowed on the wood at Calvary's cross now flows for you in absolution in the sacrament of the altar and the means of grace that you may live as a forgiven child of God because Jesus paid the debt for you there. And what does it say, say in the gospel according to Isaiah? By his wounds, you are healed and you are indeed healed. So be at peace. May God bless you as you abide in the assurance that on the cross, Jesus paid the price in full for you, that you may abide with him forever. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time.